the Namibian government is not taking an all-round approach towards wealth redistribution as it has a duty to maintain peace and stability in the country. Access to land is the core issue and the Gengob administration wants to redress the historical inequality which Namibia is currently battling. According to the 2011 population census, German and Afrikaans-speaking Namibians make up about 6% of the total population. The two groups control and own large tracts of farmland, leaving government at the mercy of policies of resettlement and willing seller, willing buyer to do right by black Namibians. So we have to now, 29 years, we, from the political side, showed our bona fides. We don't bona fides. We have included whites in our government. So at political level, we have proven that's the only power we have. But economically, we don't have the power. Land is still owned by some people. So those people must also meet us halfway. So we can solve the problem amicably. The German politician shares the president's sentiments on inequality. However, Daniel Gunther is questioning the security around the government's wealth redistribution approach. In Germany, there is also discussion about wealth being in some few hands only and distribution, so we are not free of this. We have got certain instruments in our legislation that allows the state to get involved, for example, in agricultural land. So we know what it is like, and we respect that state influence. I am not representing owners of property here in Namibia and don't want to push that issue. But one has to be careful when it comes to achieving equality between blacks and whites. Property rights are guaranteed, but inequality is objected. So how do we handle about maintaining the property rights if somebody can own 75,000 hectares of land? Which is the case in Irindi. This controversial issue. 70,000 hectares. One person. And those who are born here don't have even a piece of land. But because laws protect that person, I was here in this holding being condemned by Namibians by saying that there is law in this country, that foreigners can still buy a land in this country. That's a law. But if we are going to change the law, it will be a law again. It will be a law if it is passed by parliament, that foreigners are going to own land, that will be a law. But today I was protecting that farm, unfair as it is, 70,000 hectares, owned by foreigners and being sold for 1.9 billion to another person. 1.9 billion foreigner is selling that land to another foreigner. I protected that. We tried to offer to, to buy it ourselves uh, for 250 million. Owner refused. A foreigner refused. We didn't arrest him because of law. Germany's former ambassador, Christian Schlager, told NBC News that he engaged the German community on land access and ownership even before the second national land conference was hosted. I know that German-speaking Namibians are also members of the Ancestral Land Commission, so they will be part and parcel of this process as well, and they will bring in their ideas, their suggestions, and this is probably the place where it these issues should really be discussed. This is the second time that a German Bundesrat leader undertakes a extensive visit to Namibia in 22 years and engaged in topics otherwise deemed sensitive with Namibian leaders. Blanche Koreses, NBC News, Ventuk.